Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from new presentation of cooking with timed recipes from 1924, we're going to be making the anchovy and smoked salmon sandwich. Mm. Okay, I'm making a couple of assumptions here. Uh, the recipe calls for a slice of smoked salmon. It doesn't say cold or hot, but typically in my experience, hot flakes uh, cold as slice, so we're going cold. It also calls for four anchovy fillets in oil. So I'm gonna go with these because it seems weird to have that many anchovy fillets that would be in the big tin, uh, just overwhelm everything. So we're going with this. Is it right? Who knows? But to make our filling, we just have to uh, chop this all together. Now we simply just add that to buttered bread. Okay, let's give this anchovy and smoked salmon sandwich a go. It is quite salty. It's not mouth-wickingly salty. Um, the butter and the smoked salmon are serving to offset that a little bit. I do want to see if I can plus this up. And no, not the garbage can this time, but I do think you know exactly where I'm going. I'm gonna add some vanilla extract. Just kidding. I figure we already got stanky breath, so let's just lean into it with a little red onion and some capers. Okay, let's give this anchovy and smoked salmon sandwich maybe plussed up with some red onions and capers a go. That actually does help. It's still pretty salty. So I'm not sold on this sandwich, but the capers are bringing, of course, the pickly pop, as we all know, and the red onions bring a brightness and a sweetness that's working with the butter and it's helping to kind of tamp down the saltiness a little bit. I, I gotta say, I, I think people in 1924 may be smoking and, and drinking illegal bathtub gin because um, that was just way too salty. I don't know how that could be considered palatable. And I can't imagine the recipes made with the uh, anchovies that are in the tin because those are huge. So four of those for one slice of smoked salmon, it would completely overpower it as well just not as salty. Um, you know, I'll give the original a three, uh, plus up with the red onion and the capers. You know, initially it was good. The capers brought a nice pickly pop. Uh, the red onion brought a little brightness, a little sweetness, but the capers do have a little salt. And so it added to the salt a little bit. So maybe a four. So I'm gonna add some more red onion and I am gonna finish that half sandwich because I don't like throwing out food, but now you know why I make half sandwiches. All right, uh, I will never make this again, just for the record. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow.